Let me pray. Listen, let me pray for this person who can walk here. There's a woman here who can walk. Where is the woman? Can you just come here? You're using a crunch. What happened to you? You're using a crunch. What happened to you? What are you doing, ma? I just fall in the mall. Come here. Okay, we will. So you can't walk without crunching. Yes. Stop there. Stop there. Hey, man, Look at me. Your spirit. Look at me now. Come. Stop there and face me. You are healed. Amen. Give me your crunch. Walk. Sibela. Amen. So, listen. She can't walk without a crunch. No, How do you feel? No, crunch. no pain now. No pain. Walk. Sibela. Can you just come here? I want to know how far is your leg. Come, my brother there. Can you see how he's walking there? Don't run. Are you feeling pain? A little bit. Eh? Yes. Can you see how God healed that person? Amen. No one touched the, the God can touch us everywhere. Yeah. Can you just walk coming closer? again. You feel pain? Eh? You, you were totally failing to walk. Yes. Eh? Yes. But you feel pain now. Yes. Come. Come and pass here. Pass. You are healed. <laughs> Kick the leg. Kick the leg. Kick the leg. Tell me how you feel with that leg. Eh? There's no pain. Oh, glory be to Jesus. Amen. <laughs> You know, listen, listen, later. very soon you will think, you will think we have stationed these people. Come here, my sister. Maybe you will think, brother, there's no pain at all. There's no pain there. Eh? There's no pain. My sister, who, who came with you here? Who knows you cannot walk? My sister there. Who? My sister. You are coming here for the first time. Have you been here before? Yes, it's not, it's not the first time. It's not the first time? Yes. Where's the sister? Is she coming here for the first time? Yeah, it's the first time. All right, let's bring that sister. She's the one who cannot lie to us. This one won't lie to us because she's coming here for the first time. Mama, uh, interpret to Mama what I'm saying. Uh, what happened to, to, to your younger sister? What happened to your younger sister? So she went to the shop. She was moving from another shop to another shop. She was holding a, a trolley. Then she fell down. Then the trolley went away and left her. And then when she started trying to walk again, she couldn't walk again. It's my first time of coming in. When you see her walking, she was using the crunch to walk. So, I don't know if you can see her. 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 I don't even know what to say, I just... I'm, I'm so grateful, I can't even say it. No, you know, she said she came before. Mama has not come. This one cannot lie to us. Mama cannot lie to us. This one, the pain, 
was oh, pain unbearable. Yes. Yes. His name is Bono knows you were feeling pain here. Yes, my wife. Well, Ma come, Mama. Because you people here, so that tomorrow, you must not think. You must not think. It's gonna. What, what happened? We don't know. It started on Sunday night. Okay. So he was failing to work at all? He was not working at all. So we thank God. Uh, I mean, we don't want to ask many questions. Amen. So God bless you. You see, you see this lady, the way she's working, you, can, you can't believe that. You can't believe that. Let me get someone who's sick here. Pain in my chest. I feel pain. Did you go I... to the doctor? Yes. Huh? Yes. They never told you about HIV? No. Huh? No. They never told you about uh, any cancer or anything? They told me it's the high blood. Okay, come. Yeah. You can stop there. So, when you are stopping now, the power of God is working on you. The moment we say stop there, something must happen. And something must. In Jesus' name. This demon must leave you. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Stop, sister. You are free. Eh? Amen. Amen. You are free. Amen. Okay. I was having a problem with my left breast, and uh, I went to the doctor. Actually, that was two years ago, and they said I had uh, cancer, which was T4. And then I did 16 cycles, and the the wound which was there it got it's closed. A cancer. Yes, and then uh, it just started bleeding again. And it's, it's bleeding. Yes, it's bleeding. It just opened up again. There was a small uh, opening, and then it's like it's having a wound. Can you show me your breast? Yes. No, don't show me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sit down. Sit down. How did you like that? My sister, you want to show me? <laughs> you people here, uh, I want to tell you something. You people here, what do you say? Uh, when I say show me your breast, he say, <laughs> but, but a doctor, when I go, when you go to the doctor, he say show me your breast, you just say boom, <laughs> without even thinking. <laughs> you know, I mean, you people make me wonder. You are, <laughs> Pastor, say, you people, you see our people, what is happening with our people? Pastor, I'm sure you're experiencing something like this. Yeah? You know, you, you, you just go to a doctor who doesn't even pray. Uh. Who's drinking and smoking. <laughs> and, and when you reach there, you just say, you say what? You have a problem, yes. He says, where's the problem? He says, he says, he says show me your breast. You just say, boom. You, you, and the doctor says, hey, she's got a big breast, but... <laughs> <laughs> the doctor is not even saved. You understand? It's not even saved. Sometimes he, uh, you, you go to the doctor when you are sick. Hey, I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. <laughs> Come here, my sister. Look at me. Come here. Come, come. In Jesus' name. Stop there. Clearly your breast. Amen. You are free. Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. Spirit. Out! 
demon. Leave my sister. Come on. Out. Out. The spirit. You live a breast forever. Jesus name. It's over. Amen. Can you rise up? Rise up, my sister. Touch your breast. Tell me how you feel. I feel okay. Huh? I feel okay. You used to feel pain, eh? Yes. Huh? Yes. Can you see Jesus can hear? Amen. Huh? Amen. God bless you. Daddy, I have pains in my stomach. And I went to the doctor. The doctor says he, he's not seeing anything. I didn't hear this lady. Anyway. I have pain in my stomach. Yeah. I went to the doctor. The doctor doesn't see anything. Go there, where I was standing. Stop there, mom. Jesus is Lord. Amen. Jesus loves his people. Amen. He died for all of us. Amen. He loves you. Amen. How can you feel pains and doctors say you can't see anything? Something is wrong, isn't it? Yes. The spirit attacking. In Jesus' name. Today it's over. Amen. Uh, my sister, you are free. Amen. You are free. Raise up. How do you feel? Huh? No more pains, dead. No more pains? Yes. Press. No more pains. Huh? I used to feel it here. There's no more pains. Give glory to Jesus. Amen. Let me see. How do you know you are sick? When you are having pains. When you have pains. I want a little pain. Eh? It's then you know you are sick. All along That's why you are here. You don't know you're sick because you don't feel pain, isn't Amen. it? Amen. And everybody's sick. Everyone here, you're sick. But the issue is the sickness has not caused you pain. Amen. As long as you are having flesh and blood, there's something wrong somewhere. You understand? It takes the grace of God that that thing cannot cause you pain. That's why you say you're not sick. So always when you see people who are sick, and they say, they say, please, you must pray. Because it, it can be you tomorrow. Uh, I don't know if you're hearing.